Good morning. This is Sue Sheets from Stampin' with Sushi. This is Wednesday. What is it? Wednesday. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the flowering cactus <clears throat> stamp set and dies and different ways that you can color them so that uh, it makes your stamping and your cutting easier for you. So let me switch the camera and let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is what I do with the set. So I take the stamp set and I put some sticky strip on the back of it and put it on one side of my, the container that the stamp came in. And then I order these magnetic plates and I put the dies on the magnetic plate that match the stamp set. And then I um, have my dies and my stamps right together. So that makes it very easy for me. All right, now let's get to one of the first things that I like to do. So when I showed you the designer paper, I told you that this sheet right here cuts out with the dies, which I thought was awesome um, because it's nice to have some supplies that are easy to use. So what uh, I like to do then is cut them out. So here are my dies. Hi, Mary Lou. And what I have done is I have cut the strip into pieces that I know will fit through my many, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm gonna bring that up. <clears throat> And I have it all ready to go here. Let me move my ink pads up a little bit higher. And I have my cutting plates. And the cutting plates are awesome because I'm using a die. So it tells me what to use, number one and number two. So here's number one. And then number two are the cutting plates. So I know that one goes down first. And then I'll put one strip of my um, designer paper on there. Let me move this a little bit and I'll get the matching dies. And then I just have my painter's tape with me. So when I get the die in place exactly where I want it, and it's really cool because the die cuts all these little prickles on the outside of the cactus. It cuts them out for me. So that looks pretty good. So then I just take a little tiny piece of my painter's tape and place it on here so this won't move around. All right, next, I've got the little flower, the big, bigger of the <laughs> two flowers, and this part right here is rounded, so I fit it on the rounded part of the flower. And I get another little piece of um the painter's tape and you can save these i save them on my handle um, and then here's the little flower same thing you look for the rounded part and then move it around until it fits all right so uh, and then this die cuts out the double so i'll get that matched Okay, and now one more, this little cactus, and it goes right here. And because I've got the um, painter's tape on there, th these should not move around at all. If I've placed them correctly, they'll come out great. That always is the big question, isn't it? Have I placed them correctly? Okay, so now I'm going to lay this, these two together, put the top on, slide it through. 
this little machine is so handy for small things. Like we have some small embossing folders. This is the machine I use for that. If it's a small piece that I want to cut out, I use this machine for that. I love my big one, but it's nice to have the little one also. So now I have, for, without doing any stamping or anything, I have all these little shapes that I can use on my card. Um, now, I'm not going to keep cutting them out for you, but that's what I would do until the whole sheet was cut out. But I want to show you what I do then. And I get these on here right away so I don't lose any of them. There's another one. If they're not cut out perfectly, I don't mind trimming a little bit. But also, you can sponge over any white trim that you don't like what it looks like. And, uh, and that'll work also. The back of this paper is pretty cool, too. Okay, so, um, see, I have a couple more I can cut out, but I'm not going to do that uh, in front of you, but I'll probably do it after I get off the video um, so that I have the whole sheet's worth. But what I do is, because I put my um, embossing folders in with my stamp, then I have one of these envelopes extra. So that's what I like to do is put any extra little pieces I have in here. So if I'm making a quick card and I don't have feel like I have time to stamp or anything, then I go in this envelope and grab one from here. Now I'm going to put these extra pieces to cut out in here also so I don't lose track of them. But um, this is a real handy thing that I like to do. And I like to fussy cut. So if I'm sitting in front of the TV fussy cutting things from a designer paper, I put them in one of these. Okay, so that is how I treat this piece of designer paper. And I don't worry about the other side. Um, now I want to show you about stamping with these um, lovely stamps. So what I've done is because... When I cut them out, I want to use the mini again. So I've taken my Whisper White paper and cut it in two and a half inch strips, and then this one was just a little bit wider. So that way I can stick it in the mini machine and cut everything out. All right, so the first thing I want to show you, it's called Rock and Roll. So I am going to stamp this in green. Let's see, which green should I pick? Now, these are the colors that go along with the designer paper. So I did my homework, and I took the designer paper and put a square, two-inch square, of each one of the designs. This is the um, one side, this is the other. Um, and then I, with the cactus um, die, I cut out the colors that are in all these cardstocks. And then these are all the designs that you can cut out from that one designer paper. And so I keep this next to me. So what I did was I got each one of the colors of ink pads that coordinate with the designer paper. And that's what I'm going to use for my stamping. So let's see. I think I'll start with mint macaron. So I'm going to stamp the stamp, and then if you don't know what the rock and roll is, you take a second color that coordinates with your first, so I'm doing the mossy meadow, and you rock and roll it onto your stamp, and then when you stamp it, oops, I wanted to get my so you have a little edge of color. Now, if that is just too unprecise for you, there's another way you can do it, and that's with the blending brushes. And um, I, they're part of the new catalog, and I'm pretty sure that you can order them. So I have stamped this in mint macaron. Now I'm going to take the blending brush, and when you use the blending brush, you just tap it in your ink pad and then tap it over here and it gets excess color off but then i can blend 
on the sides of my stamp. And the really cool thing about these is it looks like it's got ink in it, but if I rub it, I'll rub it right here, show you. Very, very subtle color. So you can wash these um, under the um, faucet, but what I've done is I make sure I have enough for one for each color family, and then I don't worry. So let's see how this turned out. Now I did not use my pad again, but you can see how it's a little bit more subtle than it was on this one. Um, now I'm going to try this cactus, use pear pizzazz, and then put a little bit of the coral on it. So uh, let me get these closed up. And let me get my, my pad is right over here to use, but you know me, I don't remember everything. So here is my pad that I want to do my stamping on, and I'll put the paper on there right away so I don't forget. And let me open this up, and I will also open this. You can also use... Um, sponges. Um, all right, so I'm going to stamp it in this. First, I'll rock and roll it. All right. Now, that's a little bit too defined for me. So I'm going to stamp it again. And I'm going to get a little bit of this in my, and then just you can put it on after, like I did just now, or let's try it before. Oops, I got my colors mixed up. Well, hey, let's just for the fun of it. Whoops, get with the green one. Let's see what happens with the green. No, don't like that. All right, now we'll get this done the right way. Get a new piece, get it on the green. All right, let's see how this turned out. Oh, I like that. Uh, Mary Lou, I had these ordered before the new catalog went live, and I just got mine this past week. Have you had a chance to order them? If not, you should. Um, I can even test it and text you. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll test it and text you as to whether they can be ordered. Um, on an order and I'll get right back to you on that now let's try the flowers so here I've done them in purple Highland Heather I'm gonna stamp off so it's a lot lighter and then with my purple blending brush. That's going to be my problem to remember to switch them. Um, now I'm going to see if I can add dark on here.
All right, let's see. Now, this is all an experiment with me. And that didn't really work, did it? All right. Let's try rock and roll. And then I wonder if I take my blender and kind of smooth off the edges. That's what I'm gonna, I think you can do with the rock and roll. Ooh, what do you think of that? I think that looks pretty good. I need to get a little more down here. So let's see if I can do it with the blender brush. And since this first one didn't turn out like I wanted, I'm going to try it with the blender brush. Well, that didn't work, did it? That is way too dark. All right, so it's kind of an experiment, but it's fun. So um, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to get color of lots of different colors on your uh, stamped images. I think on this one, if I would have taken the blender brush on the stamp before I stamped it, I would liked it a lot better. Um, same here. I think if I had blended it a little bit, I would have liked it better. All right, now I want to show you a trick about the sayings. So there are some really cute skinny sayings. I'm always here for you. Happy looks good on you. And if you've got a, um, you know, a, a person that you're really good friends with, life can get kind of prickly. I can, I can see several people that I might send that one to. So I got this idea from my upline, Robin Armbrecht, and she saves all the half inch strips that you get when you're cutting something a certain size and she um stamps on them they're the perfect size for skinny little um sayings so let's do life can get kind of prickly in the pear pizzazz And there it is. And there's a couple things that you can do to get it um, finalized for your card. You can cut it by hand or you can use one of the um, triple punches. And this one is called Lovely Labels. And if you um, stick this, it's a half inch, so it goes into the middle slot. Then the next slot is for three quarters of an inch and the outside slot is for half inch. So if you put your paper in, hold it in place and check it, make sure it's centered on the back. Hold that in place, punch it, and now you have a cute little end on the side of your card that you can put on the side of your saying that you can put on your card. You can either cut this with a paper cutter or um, just stick the other end in and you've got a, um, a nice little label for your card. The other thing, let me do that one again over here, because I'm kind of focusing on two sets this month. This flowering cactus medley, which has, I'll show you all the other parts to it, but I'm also focusing on the um, Simply Succulent stamp set. And if you open this up, there is an awesome little die in here that is perfect for these sayings. And so you just lay your die on there and cut it out, and then you've got one with stitch, stitched um, sides. So that's one of the... Uh, other ways you can get the saying on there. 
All right, what are the other parts of the medley? So you already know about the stamp set and the dies. You know about the designer paper. The other thing are these wonderful little felt flowers. Um, this in here is just from two sheets and you get four sheets. So this is how the sheets come. They're, um, I'll show you one without the punches. On the back is where all the stitching is, and on the front you have cute little running stitches for each one of the flowers. So there are three purple Highland Heather and three Calypso Coral, and like I said, I punched them out from uh, one sheet, and this is how many that you have. So that's fun. And uh, then these two... Uh, twines come in there. This is the natural twine, and then this is Calypso Coral twine, and I think those are lovely, and I'll be using them on cards for the, for the month. So anyway, the, the medley is um, $70. Um, to me, it's worth every penny, and anybody that purchases one of the medleys and uses my hostess code, which I'll show you right there for May, F-S-R-U-Y-Y-P-T, then I will give you some of the supplies from the medley and um, some examples of the cards that you can make. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching this morning. Hope you've got some new ideas on how to use some of the supplies and what you can do with the flowering cactus stamp set. Tomorrow I will be stepping up the card from Monday that I made with this medley, and I step it up two times, and I really had a lot of fun doing that. And then Friday I'll be putting together the card of the week, which is called um, the Faux Quilt Card. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.